I don't think there's any point in trying to apply logic into this anime because it's just gonna get parried by Noor. The best part could have been the moment where Noor defeated the goblin and told Lin, hey, make it rest in peace. Put it down peacefully. Don't let it suffer. And what did Lin do? You got it, boss. Inferno hell. The thing dies by being burnt up, which is probably one of the most excruciating, painful ways to die. And it's just like, what the fuck? Is anyone, like, remembering anything that people say? There's so many contradictions going on in the anime, but I don't think it really matters. I hope that the author is doing this intentionally to obviously play onto the meme that he is pairing everything to the point he's pairing his brain cells. I don't fucking know. Hey, let's begin today's reaction. Something bad's happening in our village, according to these reports. Ooh, the six sovereigns are coming up. So right now, just like last episode, what happened? The wizard empire had that magic stone placed onto the goblin, quote unquote, and made it go berserk and strong, right? They're trying to do shit here. There's also, I think, uh, they hinted that there is a traitor amongst us, because if, if not, how could they have done that, right? So not only is there a traitor, the other empire is doing that shit, there's six other, there's like other regions that's getting fucked up too. So we're getting the six sovereigns, the spirit guy's coming too, okay? Emergency meeting? There's a traitor among us. Nothing. You just have oil. Which is the dungeon. Because in the dungeon, there's resources that's bountiful, right? And that's what people want for. Yeah. Money. Innocent lives? Innocent lives? I can't hear innocent lives over the sound of money, baby. No one gives a fuck about innocent lives. It's all about getting that bag. Just like what? What? Is this guy dumb too? I thought he was fully aware that the Magic Empire was like, literally, like, fucking us up. Like, it's not a secret, they tried to assassinate Lin as well. I, I mean, I think he's slowly realizing that he's like, oh, I have some, like, benefit of the doubt that you guys might be a little bit more diplomatic, but now nah, you're really being aggro. Lin and Nor celebrating? That's it? Right, because like we didn't cut the ear off as proof that we completed the mission, so we shouldn't have been paid, but here, here's a little bit. Thanks, boss. Yeah, sure, one goblin. Forever. You're never getting rid of her, man. Okay. Big bro. What's going on, my man? Maybe? Maybe? Hype, hype. This idiot is the one person you can rely on right now. Just met him I, just a couple days ago as well. We just have that much faith. Well, it's, it's not only that, but like he is immensely strong. And the father did give him like the legacy, you know, relic blade as well. So like, yeah, I think we can have some faith in him. I think one of the six sovereigns is a traitor. Straight up. Because like we're trying to think about like... Because like it's heavily implied that there is a traitor amongst us. It's not just the Empire trying to fuck us up. Someone is helping them do this shit. And I could totally see one of the six sovereigns being a traitor. But Noor, he's too dumb to be a traitor. What, do you, what, what is he going to betray? His own brain cell? He's already doing that every episode. <laughs> Now that clever usage of CGI on a horse carrying wagon by creating such depth here by showing more of the environment so that you can barely see the horse carriage and hide the CGI that way. Hmm, interesting. Yeah! <laughs> like the 
magical empire. Let's send him there. He can parry all their magic. He can get some traveling. We can, we can say it's a vacation. He'll be like, oh, really? Fuck, hype. Let's go. What's going on, Lin? The weed harvest. Like uh, Spice and Wolf. Holy theocracy. Yeah, he's putting a lot of faith in Noor. <laughs> That's actually so fucked up. He's literally telling Noor and like his little sister to go to these dangerous places where the, uh, the uh, crazy shit's happening. But he's like not even telling them. It's just like, yeah, go there and see what's up. And if nothing happens, go to the other place and see what's up. Like, you could give him a little heads up, bro. Something's gonna happen. Come on. Man, you know be the craziest shit ever? The traitor is the brother. But I can't think in that perspective. Because the brother is the one that was thinking independently and even assumed that there could be a traitor amongst us. You know what I mean? So like... I don't think it's possible because it was through his monologue last episode that we were able to unveil that, hey, maybe there's a traitor amongst us. But like, if the brother was a traitor, that'd be crazy. Oh, yes. shield girl. Yeah. Oh. Technically, this is like a rescue route. I thought that these are places where fucked up shit's happening. But now it makes more sense. Because like, <clears throat> the sanctuary, the safe spot is the holy theocracy and they're sending them there. Got it, got it. So it's not him being like, oh, just go there and good luck. It's more like, go there and I hope nothing bad happens and, you know, I don't want to let you guys panic. But like, this is a safe route. And Noor. Can we really trust the Holy Theocracy? Hmm? Nah, no, he's just traveling. Because Inez knows there's destruction about to happen. Yeah. If she tried to protect him with her shield, he would somehow figure out a way to parry the shield. Like, I... Noor's gonna be fine. Okay. Activate the shields, let's see it. Oh. Is it that strong of a shield? I need. I, yeah, I want to hit it. <laughs> you know, let's try hitting it with their uh, poop sword. Like, I wonder how strong her shield really is. Magic nor weapon? Okay. Gilbert? I, I forgot his name too. How? It's, you, you went from Gilbert to Albert to Armadillo. It's kind of cute, I guess. Yeah, this, that she's a shield sovereign, right? You fucking idiot! Oh my god. You, you literally dodged his light speed final fucking attack where he went all out. The goblin. Again, like, again, that's the whole point of the show, right? Th they're very obvious. It's like, yes, we're trying to keep him as dense as possible. We're going to do everything possible to make him so dense that he'll never realize how strong he is. That's the entire premise of the show. So you can't really get mad at that. You got no talent? Is she insecure? Okay, lower backstory. Ow! <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, but I was so sudden. Anokoa, 
これは天から授かったギフトじゃな。A gift from the heavens. 何者をも切り裂く刃ともなれば。It can become a blade. てを防ぎうる盾を追いにくにすら滅ぼし。Okay, the e n i s g l a z e is insane right now. So, I don't. I guess this form of magic right now is like somehow. Like, it, it's not turned into a shield, but it, it can turn into a shield. It could even be a blade. I wonder, because she already picked shield, if it's possible to still do blade? But that is interesting how he said shield or blade easily annihilate even the country. Ines is cracked. Ines, this is going to be a little bit of a problem. <laughs> Training with the little girl. He's just rolling boulders down the fucking hill. Good luck, kid. Fend yourself. <laughs> because she's such a tiny kid, you know? He's a big man. He's just throwing boulders down. <laughs> That's why she's so cold and distant. Got it. It's like. These shields, you know, look at the visuals. These shields, he's basically shielding off everyone around. So, what does Nor have to do? Nor has to parry and shatter the shield and make sure that she feels like we can get close to her or something? Nor. Right! She did! That was. And then I think I asked the question, why? And then, well, why was he locked up in the barrier? In like episode one, remember where he's living? His like mountain boonies? For whatever reason, that was like a sealed off area. Where'd you hear this name? From the local legend? Ooh, the shield sovereign. Oh, foster father. How does she know the name Nor though? So Papa mentioned. Why? Why would he know? Because he taught Nor. But I thought all the teachers said that you had no talent, so he got kicked out, right? So, like, that's the part I don't get. Why would Nor be useful here? I thought that he was so weak at everything he did when he was there as a kid that he got kicked out. I don't really remember these two training sessions either. <laughs> she got daddy issues. She got insecurities because she's being out. Because she, Nor, he, daddy wants Nor. Daddy don't care about Ines. E daddy wants Nor. <laughs> so she's jealous. She's mad. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> And now you've met him. What do you think about him? Even worse? Bro, we don't even know her. We don't even think about her. And she lives in our shadows, rent fucking free. Like, this is such a one sided grudge, you know? We just existed, and like, she hates us because, like, Papa gave him all the credit. If only Noor was here. And the king also gave him crazy credit and those kind of, like, um, extra uh, perks of even talking casually because the king found it nice that someone is finally not treating him like a king and it felt convenient. But, like, man, like, what the fuck did we do? We did nothing! Ines, you got some baggage to settle. <laughs> Here's the way I predict it. This shield is supposed to be indomitable. This shield is insane. And when her shield cracks against enemy pressure, Nor will be there to save her and parry, and she will see the light. What? Something's moving the field? What do you say? There's a path in the wheat field. Uh oh, monster? Monster in the wheat field? What is it? Something is moving. What is this animation? <laughs> Some sort of miasma? Another invisible thing. Dude, 
dude, they they all are just invisible, man. Like it's it's not the first. It's, I thought the goblin thing was like unique last episode, but it's like every one of these motherfuckers we need uncovered to figure out. Oh. Yeah, what are they doing? Oh! 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 We fought one of those before, but there's multiple of them. Okay, okay. <laughs> Sword Sovereign? Sephiroth! Arrow Sovereign! Made Sovereign. Oh! Oh! We got our own Hoshina here. From Kaiju A, we got some Dagger Sovereign. Cool. What the f- What? So... This is probably some sort of slave from the Magic Empire where they sent with the mission to do acts of evil but they don't actually want to do it based on the clothing they're wearing and the repeated words of I have to do it, I have to do it. So new companion maybe incoming? Wait, 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 is this just a random kid in the wheat field at the same time? I thought because they were so together? Like, this was the guy that was, like, controlling this monster. But no. They're not on the same team, it doesn't look like. The uncover happens, he realizes there's a fucking monster here, gets fucking whopped. Nice ass. Just a random kid on the wheat fields? Potty time! Yeah, he did. Okay, so hold up. So we're going back to the same logic of okay, they were together in the uncover. I, I, I'm confused. I thought they were together, and then he got hit. So I'm like, oh no. But now it's like, okay, they are together. He's responsible for the dark dragon. I don't know. Demon folk? Wait, lore? Demon folk. Demi-humans. Holy theocracy. The place that we're going to. But damn. But there's still some left. That's what it seems like. Yeah, so he was walking to the capital of the dragon, but then after you uncover, he lost control of the dragon. That's what attacked him. And now with Noor, a human, protecting him against the dragon, maybe he'll realize the value in humans rather than being angry at them. The shock is what made it enraged. Nor doesn't know a demon folk though. He don't know shit. Rent free, bro. Ines, rent free. The amount of hate she has towards Nor. My god. But it makes sense, right? It's it's like, yeah, it's a demon folk and there's a whole lore and history around it, but like, bro doesn't know shit. He's like been isolated in the mountains. I doubt he knows anything about this. <laughs> That's the thing, he's not thinking. He doesn't think. He simply acts on his beliefs and what he thinks might be good. And he sees a kid that's in danger, so he goes there and helps. It's just that simple, bro. Bro does not use his brain. <laughs> Alright, bitch! I don't need your help anyways. Oh, the goblin was stronger. Breath attack. Party! Yeah. What? Oh, hold 
up. He can't parry debuffs. Oh. Like, we can't parry poison, though. I mean, you would think we could in a show like this, where it's just... Honestly, like, I, sometimes it's just meme, meme territory where he parries everything. But I guess a debuff, you know, we can't really do much against it. What now, bro? Frog. Frog. Regular frog. He thinks that it's a fucking frog. And a frog that size is a regular frog. A po it is a poisonous one. But it's not a fucking... It's a fucking dragon. How does he... How does he just... Look at it. Because he's from the mountains. Because he doesn't know any better. Everything he sees is like the, for the first time. So he sees a giant fucking dragon thing, which honestly isn't that big, right? The size of the dragon is honestly pretty mini, but goddamn. Really, a frog. What now, man? Black Death Frog. It does look like a frog. It does a lot. Right? It, it really does look like a frog. It's it's the exactly it's the frog of death, bro. I guess that's right. I mean, she's got her priorities straight, but still, it sucks. Really? What are we gonna do? Maybe the demon kid is gonna help us after he saw the heroics of how Noor was protecting him? The poison can't get through it? What's falling? Damn, birds are falling! You, you make you fucking excuses. You mad. You mad that Papa like Noor better than you. No, you trying to get rid of competition right now? Uh, it's just probably me make, trying to make funny commentary. She, I don't know. She, I think she's justifying her inaction right now by saying this shit. But maybe deep, deep inside. She's like, mm, Papa always loved you more than me. <laughs> Oh? Oh, what happened? Wait, Nor? How? Holy shit! Papa was right. No, 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 no. I will not. I will not have this. He is foolish. He is so fucking dumb and ignorant. I will not take that. <gasps> he is the shield right now. Cutty! <laughs> Yo, Demon Kid, help! We actually lost. Huh? What do you mean? Wait, 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 what the fuck you talk? Wait, wait, wait. Wait? I can make this work out after all. There's actually not that much poison blood that I would expect it after touching his face there, right? So is that supposed to indicate that the poison he's acclimated to it and now he's getting used to it? Even the look at the frog. Even the frog is like, the fuck you talking about? I don't know. I parry a frog. <laughs> And that's today's episode. I'm not completely sure what happened at the very end, but it did look like the amount of blood that was coming out of him has, you know, stopped. So maybe he's gotten used to it and now he's like working with the poison. I'm not too sure. But today's episode was actually pretty fast paced. What's going on? We're under attack from the Magical Empire, right? I mean, it was already under its way from episode one when they tried to assassinate Lin. But now they're just fully doing it. The six sovereigns are spread out, handling different points that are important. So that's why our kingdom is getting really fucked right now. And right now, the prince's goal was to just send Noor and Lin off to the Holy Theocracy in case that, you know, our nation gets wiped out and it's their last chance, right? So that's what they were doing. 
But while doing so, we meet a frog. It's a dark death dragon. It's a fucking frog. It's a poison frog. And pretty strong. I'm like, how do we debuff poison? We can't, but he seemed to have figured out a solution near the end. It's probably going to be something like he's gotten acclimated to it, or he's using heal to a point where the amount of damage he's taking from the poison is being offset by the heal. Not sure. And Enes, bro? Enes Loki sucks. I love their design, but like, Enes, man? Throughout the whole episode? She just fucking... She's just living in Noor's shadow rent-free, hating on him when he doesn't even know that she exists, man. And we'll see how she corrects herself next episode. She saw the true light in Noor, right? We had a whole speech of like how he is the shield right now. So maybe next episode something will change, but that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.